Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi, if you're new, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a collective clothing haul. I am seriously so excited for this video because you guys know how much I love showing you guys my style and my outfits, and I feel like shopping for the pieces is just as much fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys like it, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified the next time I upload. Currently have pink on for my 45 Days of Pink Challenge, which is going on over on my Instagram, so be sure to check it out. It's just like Helly Prepster if you use the hat. Hashtag 45 days of pink on your pink outfit. I will be sure to share it on my story So don't miss out seriously so much fun and I just feel like it's such a fun way to enjoy January and February 45 days of pink challenge is where I wear pink for 45 days leading up until Valentine's Day Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. So I'm just super excited about it So I hope you guys enjoy it, but we're gonna get started with this haul and of course we're starting off with something big. So in my Christmas video that I shared, I also prefaced that my parents got me some clothing pieces for Christmas. I didn't share them in that video because I wanted to share them in a clothing haul. So I don't know where everything is from, but I have the tags on them. The first thing I got was this big, chunky, hot pink, sweater and oh my gosh this reminds me of the anthropology sweater that's going around for like $300 it's from the brand so which I believe is from Kohl's I'm not 100% sure on that but it is absolutely stunning I wore it in my Christmas video it's so cute I love the color and it's gonna be perfect for my pink challenge then I also have my Fabletics outfit for the month of December I never shared this with you guys so first it came with these biker shorts so cute and so comfy they are nine inch short so they're really flattering and they're also like their compression shorts i believe no i think they call them power hold they just make you look so good like they're sculpting they look amazing so i love these i love their leggings like this. now i have them in the biker shorts and i couldn't be happier and then it just came with this cream crew which is so cute i have the tag on this one still and this is called the go-to crew neck sweatshirt and it's a loose fit rib details and dropped shoulders it just looks really cute like it's like that oversized look imagine some sneakers with your biker shorts i love it another thing that my parents picked up for me for christmas are these little snake skin something boots i think these are so cute so these are from the brand chelsea and violet never heard of it I just thought these were so cute and I can't wait to style these with some straight leg jeans they have like a little wooden base and then this really cool stitching detail I'm a sucker for booties and I love having some like cool texture and patterns so I'm so excited about those I also picked up this hat so I got my mom the matching hat for Christmas so we can be twinning and it's the CC black beanie with a little pom-pom on it it's so nice. I've never had one of these beanies before, but it's like insulated on the inside, so it's so warm. I can't wait for a chilly day to break this out and wear it. I got another pink sweater, and this one is so stinking cute. It's like a little mock turtleneck, and it's like the lightest baby pink color, and it has this ribbed sleeve detailing, and this is from the brand and Tried and True. I got it in a size medium, and it is just stunning. I love the light pink. I just feel like it's something different than what I already have, and it's just so flattering with the cuts and all the rib detailing. I got another turtleneck, and this one is similar to the pink one, but a little bit different, and this is from the brand A New Day, which I believe is Target, and it's just like this turtleneck, and then look how cute this is. It has like stitching right here. And then the little ribbed on the sleeve, very cute. I love wearing this tan oatmeal -y color all winter long. And then I mentioned in my OOTW that I picked out new jeans. I shared the first pair with you guys in that video. I wanted to kind of update my jeans for this new year. So I had one pair of straight leg jeans. They were from Shein. I found out that I really liked them and I was like, I wanna get some more that are a little bit different since they have a rip in the leg and I want them like not to look like I'm wearing the same pants every day, which there's nothing wrong with that. But considering I share my outfits with you guys all the time, I wanted to have some new pants to style. And I have a lot of skinny jeans. I'm keeping them in my closet. I just don't like feel as confident as I did when I was wearing them. I also noticed these are really on trend and they're honestly really classic because straight leg jeans have been around for so long. So I'm really excited to play around with these. I will be sure to do a lookbook styling them very soon. So be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys would like to see that. I would love to share it with you guys. So the first pair I got are these lighter wash and I've noticed they don't really sell dark wash as much and these are called the ankle straight 
ultra high rise jeans and they're so cute i love the wash on them there are no rips which i was really like struggling to find because a lot of them have rips but i will say the back of them have a little bit of distressing on the ankle it's hardly noticeable and i think it looks so cute especially if you're wearing heels or boots so i really really like it but it's also just very clean cut and a timeless look then i got this next pair and these are the 90 straight ultra high rise and they're definitely a little bit of a lighter wash i think they're so cute and i got these in regular the other two pairs i got in the size short i'm only 5'4 so they come right at my ankles which i really like but these are regular and they are a little bit longer and baggier at the ankles but these have that slit up the side which i think is so on trend kind of cool it makes them a little bit different than the rest because these don't have any reps in them as well and then the last pair that i got these are one of my favorites these are a little bit i would say edgier for me i guess i don't know i've had ripped up jeans like this before but these are the 90s straight leg ultra high rise they're definitely darker and they have holes in both of the legs which i really like and they kind of like fall open so it's like just a really flattering cut and they're straight all the way down i love 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 these pants they're so cute and i also found out and i would love to share it with you guys because i didn't know when i was shopping for them i actually got to work with the store manager of my mall and she was so helpful and i just was such a positive and great jean experience so they have a line called curve love at abercrombie so you can get your regular size and that's like kind of like just based on your waist and hips and everything but they also have a line called curve love which is a little bit extra give in certain areas that girls can struggle with so like a little bit bigger in one area like so example if you have like a smaller waist and maybe bigger thighs curve love is great because it adds that extra room so i'm pretty up and down <laughs> i'm just being honest right now and i did curve love because they're a little bit more of a relaxed fit which i really liked but i also sized down when i got them so if that's helpful i hope it is i thought i learned so much that day but i would love to share it with you guys but again i really recommend with jeans going there and trying it on i spent an hour plus at the store and i bought three pairs of jeans but i like tried everything on i tried all the ones i didn't like on and i think that's just like the best way to figure out what works best for you but anyways those are the jeans i got absolutely love them and i have two more items that i'm super excited to share with you guys they are from vineyard vines i've been eyeing this vest forever it is just a navy fleece vest for women i love it i think i'm gonna wear this like crazy i love this because you could totally dress it up or dress it down since it's just fleece material and it's got the like, super cute little whale on the back which is adorable and then the last thing i want to be sharing with you guys is this pullover that i got from vineyard vines it's got like the little whale tag i don't know if this is one of their shep shirts i'm a little lost on that but it's got like dark sleeves and then the dark at the waistband I just thought this was so cute. I couldn't pass it up. So that is everything in this clothing haul. Let me know in the comments down below which item was your favorite. I do read and respond back to every single comment. And I love being able to chit chat with you guys. Hopefully the jean part was helpful. I'm not really sure. But I wanted to share that with you guys. And I'm so excited to style some of these pieces for you. So again, if you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button. And be sure to check out my Instagram, which is just Kelly Prepster, And use my hashtag 45 days of pink to get featured on my Instagram story. I will see you guys very soon with my next video. Bye guys!